We are Veremy. We don't go bling. We don't have a like button. We don't do fluffy animals. We do the important stuff. We empower your digital identity and give sovereignty over your data back to you. What does a newsletter need to know? Your bank, your doctor, your insurance, your house, your car, your boss, Trump, Google, China, your mum. Who owns your privacy, your identity? You do. We give you control so you can decide. Not them, not us, not a social network. Yes, it's less thrilling, but that's the idea. There is a reason why we have servers here and not abroad, why we think Europe is safer than elsewhere. Businesses trust us to make sure you can trust them. We do the things that need doing to win the battles of tomorrow today. That's what we do. We give you the choice by the push of a button. Which button will it be? Veremy. Hello together. Hello, Didi. Great honor that Hello, you're Ron. here. Um, you invested into our company, Didi. And um, tell me what was the motivation about the investment? Yeah. Sure. We live in uh, interesting times. Our digital identity is more important and probably by far more vulnerable than ever before. Uh, so we think it's extremely important to develop very robust platforms to protect uh, the consumer's most sensitive information. At Samsung, as a group, we're happy and super proud to, to invest and support companies that share our vision and our commitment to empowering consumers and protecting their identities. And we believe that Vermi has the opportunity to significantly strengthen uh, personal data protection across Europe. So here you go. Good reason to invest. Thank you. It sounds good. Thank you for the trust. But um, how is your view on the European market? How will digital identities develop here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we think that there's, a, there's an inherent, constant, and actually natural tension um, as you speak about digital identity, about the need on one hand uh, to protect the privacy of the consumer's information. On the other hand, uh, we need to drive for convenience, for user experience. Um, uh, uh, quite often, we, we, ha we have the tendency to, to somehow compromise the, the privacy uh, for the sake of uh, just facilitating new services, uh, just gaining uh, more convenience. And as digital services uh, proliferate and we start using digital identities to manage our physical assets, actually our governmental ID, it becomes extremely important to have uh, very solid and strong verification and authentication uh, solutions. So we have global corporations offering single sign-on, but there's no true European platform to do that. Uh, and we think that there's a great opportunity for Europe to regain identity sovereignty um, and put in place uh, such a platform for managing digital identities. And, and very means very well positioned for that. Yeah. From a corporate perspective, I get that message. Do you think that message has gone through to the consumer already? That, that's a great question. Um, as I've said earlier, consumers not always are fully uh, aware of the compromises that they're doing. From our point of view, the way we look at it, um, to truly secure and protect uh, the digital identity, we think that the most uh, essential and sensitive credentials should be held by the consumers themselves, in their pockets, not on a remote server that is being managed uh, by others. Looking at Samsung as an example, we ship almost 1 million smartphones a day. That's quite a number, right? Uh, if you look at the population, about a quarter of uh, the people that have a phone in their pocket, they have a Samsung device. And our devices have a, a highly secured environment within them that is built, embedded into them. And we think that's a great place to put your most sensitive credentials rather than somewhere uh, on the server. Um, and you know, by that, giving the consumer the power to, to control that uh, very sensitive information. Roland, if I may turn to you, um, <laughs> what is the, for, for companies, what kind of profit uh, or benefit could Vermi bring? What is your uh, unique selling proposition to your partners? Yeah, very good question. What is our USP? Um, I think, first of all, uh, USP has something to do with purpose and attitude, so that we really uh, deliver a service where companies don't need to give uh, digital identities in the hands of US players. That sounds nice, but maybe it's not the USP why you actually buy our product. Uh, why do you buy our product? I, I would say there are two things. 
The one thing, uh, always the commercial equation needs to hold true. Uh, so the unit cost of a platform economy in digital identity is much better than you do it in a silo. So you really have better unit cost. And the other, maybe even more important aspect is that we drive conversion. Because at the end of the day, what we deliver is a one-click identity solution. There's uh, identity available at one click at the customer end, instant identity, so you don't lose customers throughout the identification process in the onboarding. Mm. And for me as a consumer, well, what's, what's the benefit for me? For you as a consumer today, you see that at every single silo, you need to identify yourself again. And that holds true when you open up your bank account, when you enroll for a car sharing, when you want to approach the insurance portal, or if you want to um, access uh, public sector services where you also need to identify yourself. And you do need to do that over and over with video ident, with auto ident, taking pictures, uh, getting letters, whatever. With very me, you have a one click access, one click identity. You do this identification process once, you store it, and it's available at any time where you want to reuse it. So convenience. Uh, on a very next level, convenience um, and really efficient processes that brings you uh, to your target even faster. As the investor, and you know, I'm from Samsung, from the investment side, we know that uh, for consumer platforms, there's always the, the challenge of the chicken and egg challenge, you know, of the content, yeah. the services, on the other hand, the user accounts. How, how do you address that? We don't bring millions of customers. So we are a new company. Um, there are not very many customers involved if you found a company, but it's not a traditional startup idea where uh, the management said, well, great idea, let's do it. But it was the idea of 13 major shareholders in Germany. And if I say major shareholders, it's a German Telekom, it's Allianz, it's Daimler, it's uh, Volkswagen, Axel Springer, uh, Lufthansa, Deutsche Bahn. All of them are involved, and they said, we want to found this initiative so that we are able to have a hold on digital identities in Europe. So how do we solve the chicken and egg phenomena? All these companies are bringing in their customer base whenever it comes to enrollment, whenever it comes to onboarding, whenever it comes to sensitive access to sensitive data. Uh, our shareholders are bringing in their use cases. And this way, we are building up our customer base. Interesting. What's so difficult in what you do? I mean, why don't we see you know, digital identities you know, as a big topic? Uh, why don't we see plenty of other companies doing what you do? What's the challenge? Yeah, what's the challenge? That's a good question. When I joined the company half a year ago, I also felt like, hey, what's the challenge? I mean, it's common sense. Uh, you do um, your video ident, you store your identity, and then it's done. Sounds good. But we are in a market where a lot of re regulation uh, holds true. So we are facing regulation from uh, the German BaFin. You know, the German market is very engineering driven. Germans have made uh, very sure that every little aspect is regulated. So we have the BaFin, uh, we have the Versicherungsgesetz, we have the Sozialgesetzbuch, and we even have European standards uh, how to cope with digital identities. And if you need to bring all that together and find one solution for the customer, because at the end of the day, the customer doesn't care about all this regulation. The customer just wants to access the service. And putting all that together on uh, the level of assurance and the security standards um, that are requested, that's quite a task. And that task we want to deliver at maximum privacy at maximum security, so the product is uh, designed in a way that it is privacy by design with private key uh, encryption. And for us, it was very important that we do no consumer tracking. So we keep the customer identity very much um, apart from any kind of online advertising data or tracking data so that the customer can make sure it's only his identity and uh, the customer decides what happens with it. Putting all that together, uh, I learned a lot in the last six months how complex the task is, and probably that way we are unique 
and we also need the support of our shareholders uh, to push this forward in Germany because it's also a very kind of political task to go through all the regulation with a privately owned solution. Mm. So we're in uh, June 14th, 2019. What's yeah. next for, uh, for Vermi? Where are you going to be in a year from now? What, what, what do you think is going to yeah. happen? What's next? Uh, so next this year is, uh, first of all, very basic to deliver the value story, yeah? to make it happen in the market, because I suppose not many of you are very me users yet. So we want to make all of you very me users this year. Everybody. Everybody. Um, and on top of that, well, what's coming? Um, digital identity also um, uh, makes the way towards uh, digital signing. Uh, qualified electronic signature and makes the way to payment. Um, the story is not only a German story, but it's a European story. Once you cracked Germany as the highly most regulated market, uh, we are ready to crack Europe, and that's coming next year. Okay. Thank you very much, Roland. Thank you, Didi. Thank, Thank you, you all.